the nightly battle to keep delivery riders from playing roulette with Sydney drivers. You'll be amazed at how often it happens on 7 News Monday. Tonight's 7 News headlines, a new multi-million dollar plan to revive Sydney Harbour and bring more sea life back into our waterways. Six people and a dog rescued after two boats collided on the Nepean River this afternoon. Qantas issues an apology for the recent airport chaos while offering flight vouchers, lounge passes and more. And New South Wales Cricket's new $60 million home opens in Western Sydney. Now here's Amber with Sydney's weather. Thank you, Mark. Well, our run of sunshine is set to continue, although not for too much longer, with wet and windy conditions and some cooler temperatures on the way. Right now in the city, it is 14 degrees, although already it feels closer to 11. If we take a look now at the satellite, this high-pressure system is to thank for the mostly clear skies we've enjoyed throughout the weekend, but you can see this cold front approaching from the southwest. It's expected to reach the state's far south by tomorrow and will continue continue tracking east throughout Tuesday. Strong northwesterlies are set to strengthen ahead of that system, generating damaging wind gusts averaging 80 to 90 kilometres per hour for parts of the Snowy Mountains from late tomorrow morning. You can also see that front bringing unsettled conditions to capitals across the country's southeast corner. 15 with the chance of a late shower in Canberra, rain and 16 degrees in Melbourne, 13 degrees and showers easing in Hobart. We've got rain developing in tops of 15 tomorrow for Adelaide, while over in the west, 17 is the top with mostly sunny skies in Perth, a top of 21 degrees tomorrow in Brisbane. So cloudy skies with light showers are expected across much of the state's southwest tomorrow ahead of that front. Tuesday, though, is when parts of the state will really start to feel it, with up to 10 mils forecast, possibly even some snow for orange on Tuesday. But closer to the coast tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, tops of 22 tomorrow for Newcastle and Port Macquarie. Closer to home, we should see temperatures hover in the early 20s for most parts of Sydney. 21 tomorrow at Bankstown, dipping to 3 degrees overnight though in Camden and also in Campbelltown with some fog likely, most likely early in the morning. On the water tomorrow, we should see winds track northerly at around 20 knots before turning northwesterly, reaching up to 25 knots offshore during the afternoon. In the city, mostly sunny skies tomorrow, tops of 23 degrees dipping to 8 overnight. But beyond that, the grey skies look set to return. Falls on Tuesday expected between 15 to 20 mils. Beyond that, we could see a few coastal showers throughout the week. It should remain, though, mostly dry across the west until the weekend. We are in for a few cool mornings, though, dipping to 7 degrees in the city on Wednesday and also on Thursday, 4 for parts of the west. So, Mark, one more day to soak up that sunshine enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah, make the most of Monday if you can, Emma. Thank you. That is 7 News for this Sunday. We'll have updates for you throughout the evening. I'm Mark Ferguson from all the team. I hope you have a great night.